Hello Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I am just continuing to review the products that were very kindly sent to me from Born Pretty for review. So I have two sort of striper liner brushes here. I did have some issue getting the top off so I just used my metal cuticle pusher and that just popped it off okay. So this is size six and as you can see it's like a, it's not a dead long but it's a long liner brush and it's very very thin and it has a nice pointed end at, uh, at the end of the brush so it's going to be great for drawing lines or swirls if you are very good at freehand which I am not <laughs> so I'm just going to use it to fill in a um, stamping image. And this is the other one, so again it's thinner but it's just that little bit shorter. Which I personally I find I work better with, it, I just seem to have more control. So they do come in lovely sort of porcelain um, imitation, uh, I have already highlighted it on the screen. It's not real porcelain but it's very pretty casing. So I'm just highlighting here the sort of thinness difference between this and the Ajubus one and obviously it goes with the Born Pretty one, it, it does sort of finish nicely on the edge, it's still nice and thin all the way. So you can probably see it a little bit more on these brushes, how much thinner they are. So if you want like an ultra thin one, then these are probably the ones that I'd suggest getting. And here's some other brushes in from this range as well that are available. So I'm gonna use my Bee Loves Plate Flower Power uh, stamping plate and that image right there, just because it's got lots of thin lines that you're gonna be able to fill in. So I'm gonna be using this ring palette, which you can also purchase from Born Pretty as well. It's just really handy for filling in decals because it's right there and there's no mess or spillages on your desks or anything like that. Obviously I've got a cute paw one um, because of my Frenchies. So I'm just gonna Obviously fill in this stamping image. Just trying to get it to work properly. I don't think I did enough polish to the brush. So it's it's really nice to work with. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually just gonna pop it down on my desk um, and kind of zoom it in. So you can see I was just, it was a little bit more <laughs> difficult weirdly holding it in my hand. So as you can see, it does apply a, load, a lot better. So like I say, this is what I would use. I would personally use these brushes for, um, which you know is 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 great if you are more into stamping than you are freehand. So this is the shorter one, which I do find like I I personally prefer. I don't know what it is, no, it's just because it's shorter, so I just feel like I've got more control on the bristles or the brush. But yeah, I definitely prefer to use the shorter one than the longer one but <clears throat> it'd be really handy I think if you are good at it freehand and you want to do like swirly intricate lines they would be very good for that so I'm just going to finish off filling in this stamping image I do find I just want to add like um, obviously I'm showing you this on camera, I do the rest of the sort of stamping image off camera. I do find like I'll get better control when I'm trying to do it off camera, if that makes sense. If you do videos you'll understand what I mean, it is always a little bit more difficult trying to show you on what I'm doing on camera without blocking it. It is a lot easier to use and a lot neater um, when I was doing it off camera. Okay, so I've finished off filling it all in and now I'm just applying a top coat over to over the image and I'm just going to leave that to dry. So now that it's dry, I'm coming back in with my metal cuticle pusher. I'm just going to peel it off the stamper. Oh, no! Oh, I thought I'd ruin that then, that would have been so annoying. <laughs> yeah, so I probably could have done with leaving it a little bit longer to dry, but patience is not one of my qualities. <laughs> So I'm just going to place this on the pop stick and just sort of smooth it down. Um, so there you go. I'm just going to go off camera and neaten it up and cut off the excess decal. 
So yep, so as you can see, I filled this in really well with these um, brushes. So sorry if you wanted to see with me doing freehand. Um, I'm certainly not the girl for you if you want freehand. I am all about stamping because I can't freehand, um, as you know, anyway. But I hope you find that it, this video to be helpful. Thank you so much for coming and checking it out, Jelly Babes. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.